Just imagine being two ordinary lads from Dublin and ending up in one of the world's most successful pop groups. As gentlemen from Westlife, Brian McFadden and Nikki Byrne. <laughs> now, before we get too into this, there's some I've got to read out here because this is phenomenal, right? Westlife, they've had nine number ones. The first seven records went straight in at number one. Yeah. They've sold 5.5 million singles and 15 million albums in 42 countries. That's we? absolute. Yeah. Have you not had any money yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely just about as mega as you can get, isn't it? That's gone. That's, I think it's, it's gone well, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, are you going to be the first boy band to kind of become an old man band? Well, after that, of course. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it's not worth... I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's good just the way Don't are. wake him, it's Boxing Day. <laughs> <laughs> People do have a go, don't they? Quite a lot at Every West day. Life. <laughs> yeah, but why is that then? Because we're successful. I think if we weren't successful, people wouldn't care. And I think anyone that's successful, people seem to have a go at them. And especially in Ireland, people, anybody that does anything good or does anything successful, you know, they just try and take them down. It's like Manchester United, you know, people want to have a go at them all the time, but, you know, West Brom, they, you know, nobody would care. <laughs> 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 I care. Because <laughs> you, you were a footballer, mate. You played for Leeds United. Yeah, for two years. Venue actually wasn't there when I was there. No. He was gone. So, Thank God. <laughs> left the reputation. But most people, I mean, it's a bit like Vinny because a lot of people dream of being a footballer and a lot of people dream of being a film star. He's managed to do both. And you've managed. Imagine you'd have been, well. been Vinny's boot boy, cleaning blood off his boots and everything. <laughs> Yeah, did you do the, the boot polishing thing? Yeah, when I first went over, I was um, Gary Kelly, uh, oh, yeah. and he's, his boot boy. Um, I was 16 when I went over, and then I signed a uh, professional when I was 17. You were a goalkeeper, yeah? Yeah, and then I spent two years there, and then when I came back, um, you know, it's so, it's so devastating when, you know, when you're, it's your childhood dream, and then you get a taste of it. Uh, it is hard, it's very difficult, especially when you're Irish and you're living in a foreign country, and... The lads around you, you know, are English and they're kind of, they can go home on weekends after matches and stuff like that, whereas you're stuck, you know, you only get home probably every three months for two days. So it is kind of hard, but when it is taken from you, you know, you, you do kind of, it's heartbreaking. But I went home and I, I kind of had enough of... <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that bad, was it? <laughs> I was learning from Vinny. <laughs> um, no, when I, when I got home, I, I'd, um, I'd had enough of football, to be honest with you. And um, I started in karaoke with my dad. My dad's a cabaret singer in a band. And um, actually, you might get him into them in a couple of years. Yeah. So, and then it just went from there, went to an audition, and that's what happened. So it was karaoke that got you kicked off? <laughs> that's that's brilliant, that, isn't it? <laughs> it's a good story. Yeah. I like the idea that people are getting into pop music through karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> you worked with, um, with Mariah. Mm -hmm. she, was all, she wasn't what you expect her to be, you know. She was, she was all right, you know. But then when we met her recently, she was, she was um, all right as well. <laughs> You know, I feel sorry for it because it's like, I'd hate to be that famous where everybody knows who you are and everybody wants to meet you. So... Oh, you get used to it. 